I'm a little sore a bit on this. <laughs> There's so much potential in this one, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. Let's get the ball stuff, whatever that is. Yeah, yeah, well, I like that. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Is that an original melody? Yeah. Get it in. Bob and I started going clubbing together, and we'd come home to my house and and uh, produce music. And I have to say, although I didn't really recognise it at the time, Bob was one of the first real producers that I'd ever worked with. You do in this, I just get in the zone, so I'm like, I'm just there, <laughs> eyes closed. It. So I'm just getting into it. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Some gorgeous bits in there. Play the track from the start. Yeah. Hit record. I'll jam over the top, and Good. then we'll okay. get all that all out my system. I don't know what I was doing. The guitar's very Angelo Badalamenti, very Twin Peaks, very Portishead. That is that kind of um, period flavour that. Uh, that we're going for, which is really nice because I think it gives it a weirdly gives it a timeless quality rather than just trying to do it straight. We're giving it this kind of sense of history, which is which is amazing because the songs are so new and and the, and the style of music that we normally do is very modern. Um, so to do it in such a kind of classic way is, is really exciting. Great to get up there. Yeah, Let's, we'll have a play around. I think I've figured out the wobble. Three, four. The sound of Bob Bradley music has always been in my life. These songs that we recorded together have never come out yet, uh, but I listen to them all the time, and, and I've always been enthralled by the stuff that he's done. Get a couple of takes just because yeah. my timing's terrible sometimes. That sounds lovely, man. You're on it. And then what was it? Yeah, I like that one a lot. What is that? An F minor suspended second? Yeah. Good. Got it. Just so we remember. <laughs> yes. I remember, like, as a kid, friends who do that, they just go, <laughs> fucking good, aren't they? Is that a look? I'm just fucking good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man, that's nice. To be doing this unplugged project with Bob, for me at least, I mean, I think Jono and Pablo love him as well, but I mean, for me, it's a kind of a closing of a, of a loop that's been uh, in private incredibly important to me for years, and now in public, I get to share Bob Bradley with the rest of the world, so I love that. For the chorus, I'm, I'm just really sort of simple, I'm thinking, you know, sort of cocktail strum, really simple. Oh, that's the one for me, that kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. We, if we sort of layer it up with, with some electric. Therefore, yeah. With some uh, delay and stuff. Because I, I think it should, it, should, it, it, it should be kind of it, slightly ethereal, almost like a keyboard part. I think. Yeah. Transistor smoke off the amps, kind of. That's cool. it. That's <laughs> it. Oh well, yeah, 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 yeah. That was a go. Yeah. 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 Do that there, then. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh yeah, that'll work. I feel like I just want to play Stevie Dan hits on this thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
basically the same as a piano keyboard but it's completely different to play you know you can't actually you have to kind of recalibrate because it's on two levels Yeah. you know what I mean yeah, yeah absolutely getting, getting that, yeah pulling it's out that chord change beautiful it sounds lovely it sounds very, very dreamy yeah, yeah. yeah. That's 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 very dreamy yeah I don't know what I'm doing really that's good you're on I know I know my head yeah as all the pieces have come together, you know, Parvo putting down some piano, me putting down some Rhodes, Tony putting down guitars, it's sort of suddenly all these organic elements are, are coming in there and it starts to sound like a record. And I think today, you know, with the, with the strings going down, that's a really, really big step. Oh, hello, there's Parvo. Hello, hello Parvo. Sorry, well, um, there's a, just in the top line of the, the chord. What you're doing right now is like, And what what it should do is when I was a kid, you know, I was a cello player for, for quite a few years and, and having not really played cello for such a long time, this just has totally reminded me of what it is. It's such an organic instrument, an orchestra really, and there's so much sort of feel to you know how people respond to bits in the music. The string players all understand the lyrics and, and they're listening to the tracks and responding to it, you know, technically and emotionally. Working with great people and involving them in the record um, is just, you know, a wonderful thing and um, it just it takes the whole project to the next level. Hearing these songs again in a slightly different arrangement, it makes you appreciate them for what they are. Really. Yeah.